In the beginning it was tough to be honest, uh, we stay almost like a month and a half sleeping uh, under the trains or whatever it captured. Hi, my name is Clevis. I am the owner of Happy Hub, which is a Mediterranean cuisine. It's located at Beauty World at the Hoka Center at level 4. Uh, our cuisine, if you go and look at the menu, it may be quite confusing. It's a mix of Mediterranean, which we do represent like uh, Italian, because we do pizza, a very authentic pizza. We do kebabs, which is Turkish, but we do it in a Greek style, because we do use tzatziki sauce. We do pork souvlakis, we do kofta platter, uh, which they are more like a Balkan dish. I would say uh, this is uh, one of my favorite food. Uh, it, it does represent myself also a bit. Albania has a very big influence of Ottomans. We do have very good uh, alignment with uh, Turkish food, but we do have also very good alignment with Greek food, because we are neighbor. So our cuisine is quite mixed itself. This is more representing like uh, where I was born, what I like, and uh, why not? Uh, we put a lot of patience, we do authentic. Although we are located in a Hoka Center setting, for many people uh, may think, oh gosh, you are not doing authentic food, but we do, we do. We do everything from scratch. We do use authentic items, which they come from uh, other countries. The, the, the value goes up, of course. You know, my food cost is very high. But uh, as I say, we, we put a lot of patience on it. I was born in Albania. When I was 12, my mother got sick, so she suffered for a couple of years. She passed away uh, when I was almost 14. We needed to move somewhere, and we decided to move to Italy. At that time, it was also a transition of civil war in Albania, which I would say like the situation was not one of the best. So we just decided and we was just illegal immigrant. We just take a speedboat and then we go to the other side of the sea. Of course we was hungry. Sometimes there was people showing us that uh, we don't have food. They give us some food, but sometimes we also have to go and smuggle in supermarkets or, or whatever. It's where I was caught also. At the time it was underage because I was 14, my brother was 15. So like uh, they propose us uh, to, to, to put us in a foster house. And then from there our life changed totally. So they give us a, a shelter, they give us food, they give us a possibility to study and uh, to start with our life. When I first started like uh, working in FMB, uh, I discovered FMB there and I fall in love. So like I have a long process uh, working for many, many renovated restaurants, bars, ice cream place over there, pizzeria also. It's where I gain, I do gain my, uh, my experience. It was tough, the journey, uh, the first uh, six months, because I, <laughs> I do have to wash toilets, I do have to cut bread, I have to do the duty for everyone, because I was a, a newcomer. But it was a great experience and I really like it. Working in Venice, you get to know like many people from a different part of the world. I did meet my wife, uh, my ex-girlfriend, how I call it always, because uh, then we have graded each other. I met her in Venice uh, and then um, it started like a love story, which uh, we realized that uh, it was a long distance. We was in a middle discussion that uh, I was asking my wife, why don't you move in, uh, in Venice? And she said, why don't you move in Singapore? She was in the middle of her career. So and then, uh, after six months having this beginning of a relationship, I just decided to move in Singapore in 2012. And then my first job was at Valentino restaurant. But it was because of her, yes, of course, because of my <laughs> for love. Uh, well, I come uh, here at 6.30 every day. We start uh, doing pizza dough, we start doing bread, uh, cutting vegetables, uh, washing a bit, a bit the area before because of course we are located in a place which we share kitchen with over 100 stores and then of course uh, you need to be very careful. Hygiene is very important. And at 11 o'clock we start operation. Uh, routine, I'm at the cashier, I'm at the kitchen. Uh, uh, as is needed and I work until 9 with no break. I'm always here so you will see me always here. In working time is 11 to 9. The challenges is not only me that I face this challenge, manpower. It's not that uh, I face that challenge because I cannot uh, handle myself. Uh, but sometimes uh, we need to have a balance in life also. Uh, which since I open in August I don't have that balance yet. One day I wish to to have a bigger kitchen to, to do something more. Still in a limitation, I don't want to open a restaurant. My concept is like uh, having a fast food, but in a slow way. My dream is to expand. 
I don't want to increase my price. I try uh, because now we don't know like what's happening with the uh, with all the changes that they're happening, uh, the supplier price increase and whatever. But uh, I want to keep this standard to provide uh, healthy, uh, quality food at a very convenient price for everybody. It's very tiring, to be honest, but uh, it's mine. I can modify the menu as I want without restrictions. Always like uh, giving the best to the customer. We have uh, feedbacks, of course, and we do take very serious the feedbacks from our customer. Happy I said that I'm the, my own owner. I'm tired, but I'm so happy. I'm still energized. Every morning I come smiling. I greet everybody that comes here smiling. Uh, of course, it's tiring sometimes, but it's beautiful. When you have a returning customer that coming with a big smile and saying, we really love your food and we want to try more, and uh, we are spreading the voice out to our friends, that's priceless. That's priceless. I'm so happy to have you around, to be honest. I'm so happy to have them around. We are so blessed to have our loyal customers, which is uh, how this business is sustaining, to be, to be honest, because we are, uh, we are surviving with them at this uh, point of time. <laughs> thank you, that's all. This is the most important. Uh, thank you for the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much for watching. Love you all. Have a pleasant day ahead.